Try it. Quick and dirty. <laughs> first things first, at least specifically for me in this scenario, I need to replace my starter. It's kind of essential to be able to crank the motor for this trick. Let's just say it won't help you get the fan belt on an air-cooled Volkswagen very fast otherwise. I started by removing the negative cable on the battery. Wouldn't want to get electrocuted working on the bug. That would be quite the shocking experience. Hehe, <laughs> get it? Shocking? <clears throat> Yes, well, after that, Spencer's father helped remove the wires attached to the starter while I got the new starter out of its packaging. I was semi-nervous that it wouldn't be the right fit as I had bought it off Amazon with the description Fits Type 1 VW. Luckily for me, it was a near-perfect match. Whew. The only difference being one less terminal on the new starter... Oddly enough, considering that I wasn't using the second terminal for anything, the difference was inconsequential to me, and I was happy it matched up. After a bit of fumbling around, we got the wires placed back on the right terminals, and... Okie dokie. <sighs> battery is now hooked up. Let's see if it works. <laughs> She's neutral. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> nice. Oh, I do. Now that that is done, we can move on to the main event. If it's done right, it shouldn't take more than a minute to change an air-cooled VW fan belt ever. First. We cut the old cracking belt off. Then I'm gonna try it. Yeah, Quick and dirty. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, just like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Like a, <laughs> a lawnmower engine. <laughs>